What's going on traders and investors, Alex here and in today's video, I'll show you how I use Earnings Whisper to find the biggest earnings trade. So as usual, before getting the video, a quick reminder that all the best tools for day trading and investing will be linked in the description. Don't forget to check that out. Let's get right in. So the tool we're going to be talking about is going to be Earnings Whisper. And when it comes to earning, there's so many tools out there and most of them are quite complicated or you have to pay for them. And this site is actually completely free and I'll show you how I use it. You can also go up with a premium version, but I personally never did. I don't think I will. There's a couple features that could be interesting, but for the most part, I think just using the free version is going to do the job. So when it comes to finding earnings and also trading earnings, there's a few things that is important is strategy. So are you going to trade the earning release or you're just going to be prepared to trade the price action on the earning? For this video, I think trading the price action after the earnings release is out, but game planning ahead is going to be the most suitable strategy. So when it comes to this website, the way it works is you just go to earningswhisper.com. You can also follow them on Twitter. They post pretty regularly. I really like um, what they post because it's not all fluff. It's pretty actionable ideas versus just posting random things. You can see over here, there's a few things that are locked because I don't use the premium version. And most people, I think you're going to be using the free version except if it's really your main strategy, which I think could be a good thing or could be a thing if you're looking for something to just make you profitable right off the bat. So over here, we are Tuesday the 6th. You can also select any other day of the week or the month. But for this, we're going to go back over here. We're going to go to the 6th. The way it works is pre-market. It's going to show you what's happening in terms of earning pre-market so you can see over here all the company that are reporting but also the time that they're reporting this is super important because if you plan on trading the release or anything like that you want to know at what time it's going on so everything is going to be there for all the company reporting so over here we can see that you know we had uber you had celh fubo caterpillar gmia and all of these things definitely moved a lot we can see if we just zoom out of this page it can also show the growth and all the result after the earnings are out so what i like to do is normally right now it's 3 p.m i like to look at what's happening in terms of earning for this post market session today we're gonna have some important one it's going to be smci and rivian airbnb and also reddit so these are probably going to be four earnings that i plan on trading so today could be a very active aftermarket but for the main part SMCI should be a big one. Rivian is going to be super liquid. And after that, we have Reddit, which is not the best ticker to trade. But I want to see what's going on with all the recent activity that happened on GME and AMC. And also if they're growing and stuff like that, because it is a recent IPO and recent IPO can sometimes move a lot. So we did cover just the overall website, how it works, but mainly my strategy or the way I plan my day and go about it. It's just going to be to open this website and really look at what's happening this week. So normally I look at every day, what's the earning coming up and they put normally the most important one uh, at the top. So the most relevant one. And then if you scroll at the bottom, it's going to be company you don't know as much. So this is how it works. And it's always going to be the pre-market or this one is going to be sorry the post market and after that you can change the day and see what's happening in the pre over here lly is going to be an important one with the ability and all that stuff after i have my earning estimate and also all the numbers that i'll be looking at the next thing i do is really just go to a chart and create a game plan so today we have smci it's going to be an important one but it's also going to be a pretty complicated one because it's down a lot with the recent event that happened in the market we can see see it sold off quite heavily and now it's bouncing back so this earnings if they're really bad the stock could really tank and i want to be watching that after that we have reddit and we can see over here it's in the same scenario right we have this 53 level that's going to be important so what i'll do is i'll just put a line and I'll put it right over here. And this is going to be a level that I'm looking for. And after that, um, when it comes to the long side, I don't think I will be looking really for much other than if it's going up. So then I'll just zoom into the intraday and I'll see, you know, if it's really weak, if we want to sell below this level or anything like that. Right now, the earnings are not going too well, right? We had INTC, I got absolutely toast. You can see over here, I think it was the biggest down day. And even if we zoom out back to 2013, we're like at the same prices. So it's a very, very bad uh, earnings uh, when it came to 
the overall AI and also chip sector. We had also Ford when it came to the EV that was really bad, right? The stock was trading here a couple weeks ago. It had earnings and now it's down. It got caught, caught pretty much almost in half, like 30% down, which is the most that Ford has been down in quite a long time. We also now have Rivian tonight. So Tesla got also toasted on the earnings, which was this day over here. So I want to really look at Rivian, which I think is going to be the most important because if we look at the most recent one, we can see that these are going to be the one that had the biggest move. And because of Tesla and also Ford, that has been really, really bad earnings in the EV sector. I'm going to be mainly looking for this one on the short side. So overall, what I'll look is mainly for short, just because the earning has been really bad. When it comes to the execution, the way I would look at things is going to be um, very, very simple. I either gonna trade the release if there's some kind of setup that I can spot, but it's sometimes not easy. For example, yesterday PLTR when it came to earnings was just a straight line, so it never really gave an opportunity to get long or just buy the stock at any point. Was just I didn't know where to get involved, so I just passed. I didn't really trade it. When it comes to INTC, this was different, right? The stock had a really big down move, but after that, we did have some kind of consolidation. So it was a better level to trade. So when it comes to earnings, my best trades are always the same thing, right? We have a directional move in a direction. Then we don't bounce, right? We not, we're not going anywhere. We're staying near the low. And I look for the next leg just to the downside over here like this. And then, you know, you can catch a really, really nice move and you know it's going to move. You can never know how much it's going to move, but this is for your exit strategy. So you have your entry point and then you have a way to exit your earnings trade. I don't know if I can go back all the way to the earnings on Meta. It was a really nice one. And if we look over here, you can see I have to zoom in on a 15 because I can't go back that much historically. But we had a really big nod move. And after that, on the contrary, call we had a really really nice next leg on the two or the five minute to be able to catch a really really nice setup and it was the same thing even for amd uh, last time that it had earnings was a great opportunity over here this was the setup so we had a big down move then we have this one over here on the five or the two minute it was tighter and then you're able to catch a really really big move all the way back to 143 from probably the something like 153. So earnings are a really good opportunity to trade and make money. And what's good about it is you know which earnings are happening in advance. So you can also prepare for just a tight watch list and just check out the release, maybe have a glance at the number, but really follow the momentum and what's really happening. And you're able to catch really great trade. And what's also great about it is that you know it's gonna have a lot of rain. Most strategy or most guru online teach you about strategy of support support and resistance, you buy support, you sell resistance, but you don't really know if it's going to move more or move less or anything like that. But with a fresh catalyst, you absolutely know it's going to have a big move. And when there's a big move, there's a lot of chances to make money. 